Okay, so I'm closing off a uh, gym session. It's almost midnight here, so I gotta get it out of here soon. For those of you who don't know, I tend to work out a little late by preference because <clears throat> the gym's pretty wide open. No one's ever here, and I can hit every weight. I don't have to wait for anyone. I don't have to mix in a set with anyone. It's not like lunch hour. It's not like a after work at 5 p.m. hour. I just tend to go a little later. Now, I don't typically go this late, but I was working until 10. I didn't realize what time it was. I'm like, shit, I gotta get to the gym. So. That's what I tend to do. But anywho, less about me. I got important questions to answer. And this one is from Jimbo. Good old Jimbo. So he writes in and he says, Yo, Sparty, my ex broke up with me dos days ago. And right after, I got on the dating apps. I got on Hinge and Bumble. Unfortunately, what happened, though, was... Her best friend swiped and saw me on the dating app, screenshotted my profile, and sent it to my ex. Now my ex freaked out on me, and I don't know what to do. I feel like I just ruined my chances of getting back with her because she's now mad at me. What is your take on it? <clears throat> Jimbo. I want you to say this with me. Repeat after me. Whatever. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Seriously, who gives the shit? Because she broke up with you. Does that mean you have to fucking follow her lead? Does that mean you have to get off a dating app and not talk to any girls for another year? No, absolutely fucking not. What you're doing is you're getting on the horse. You're putting your, putting your guard up, you're getting going, and you're ready to go. You're moving on. Now, is she going to be mad at that? Sure. It's going to fucking hurt her. But let's, let's be serious. You're not going to fucking wait around for her. You can't wait around for her. You can't because she ended the relationship with you. That means you are no longer her responsibility and she is no longer your responsibility. It's in the past. You need to move forward. What she thinks of you doesn't fucking matter anymore. Remember, she broke up with you. She ended it with you. She gave up on the relationship. She stopped putting in the effort. She said, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not worth my time anymore. So for you, that's disrespectful in a way, right? It's sad because you were probably willing to work on it. She wasn't. At end of the world, no. You're just going to find someone who fits you better now, who's not going to give up on you, right? So that's what you should do. Now, I'm, again, I'm not saying you're going to find someone in a month or two, right? It's going to take you some time to heal. But putting yourself out there is exactly what you have to fucking do. And is it going to hurt her? Sure. Is she going to get on the apps or, and talk to new guys? Probably. Yeah, it's going to happen, right? But again, you can't hold your life up for her. You just can't. So that's how I would, what I would say to that. Secondly, okay, second thing. I don't want you on the dating apps. I don't want you actively on the dating apps. And I'm not saying you can't practice and banter with a girl. Like, it's a good way to, like, you know, tone up your game and flirt a little bit and just, you know, shoot the shit, whatever. But they're not going to really work out in your benefit. I want you to be so fucking good in person where you're not checking those apps that you don't need to check the apps, right? So what that says is when you're out in person and you are talking with girls, right, and you have a social circle and these girls are flocking to you, right, other girls are going to notice that and think, What's so interesting about him? He's different. Most girls don't surround guys. What's going on, right? So for you, you're setting yourself up in a way that you are the most attractive version of yourself. Girls see that, and girls cannot help but to feel attraction to something that everyone else wants. You're pre-selected. It is one of the truest statements. Girls want, and it goes, it's within the animal kingdom, right? If you have 10 goldfish in the sea, right? 10 female goldfish, right? and there's 10 male goldfish, and four of them are around one male goldfish, the others are going to find it, that goldfish attractive. It's the same with you. So if you're so good in person, other girls will see that and be like, oh shit, he is a fucking, what is it about him? What it says is you're safe, you're fun to be around, you're cool, and it makes them more attractive to you. And you know who else finds attraction when girls are surrounded by you and interested with you? Your ex, right? So again, it's, it's, is she mad? Sure, sure, she's not happy with it. But you know what's going on? She also respects you, right? You're not waiting around. You're not like every fucking guy that emails me who's 
begging for her, texting her to get back with her, or calling her. What can I do? What can I do to fix it? No, you don't want to be that guy, right? If she wants to fix it, if she, has a, if she thinks there's something there, she can reach out to you and you can fix it. But you're not going to fucking beg for someone who said no to you. No, come on, have some fucking self-respect, and that's what you're fucking doing. You self-respect yourself. So put yourself out there. I want you to go to gatherings. I want you to go to socials. I want you to go to beach parties. I want you to go to clubs. I want you to do intramural sports. I want you to, I don't know, join a softball league or kickball league, right? I want you to go to barata class or salsa dancing. I want you to put yourself out there where you have the opportunity to meet girls or even other guys, right? And become friends with other guys because you don't know who knows who, right? Because they can introduce you to new people, new girls. And what happens when you become friends with more girls? When you're friends with more girls, they're going to bring their friends around, right? One girl will bring about five friends around, right? And let's just say you become friends with those five friends. Those five friends are going to bring in five friends each. That's 25 fucking girls that you're going to get an introduction to. And if you are able to be the fucking man, do you know how many of those girls are going to surround you and want to be with you? And then other girls see that? They're like, why? Is, like, he got 20 girls around him that seem to fucking love this guy. Hmm. I want to go approach him. And then they start approaching you. It's super, super simple. And then you don't have to approach any fucking girl because they're coming to you. Right? So do that. But definitely practice with the dating apps. Banter, banter, banter. But don't necessarily feel obligated to, you know, let your confidence get affected by it. Because the truth is about the dating apps... Each girl gets like a thousand fucking likes. They get like 50 messages a day. Your message isn't really realistically going to be seen by most of them, right? So a lot of the guys that I coach, they get really, really in their head because the girls aren't responding to the dating apps, right? And um, it's just not really, it's, it's not a healthy way to approach it. Be better in person. The results are significantly better. Plus the girls are cooler. You kind of run the risk of uh, the dating apps, you know, everyone's guards up. You don't know who's who. It's like, yeah, I don't really know this person. It's awkward meeting someone. You just, just be better in person. That's what I got to say about it. And don't be fucking affected by the ex. Don't. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? She'll get over it. You'll get over it. And if she really wants to make things work out, she'll get in touch with you. And she probably will get in touch with you. So don't feel threatened or sad. Peace.